Kirk talks a lot about having patience, letting guys find their game. Hmm. What do you, you want me to bench me? You want bench Some, wigs? <laughs> want I don't think us? I said that. Okay. Five fouls. Monk drives on it. Monk hangs. And he scores! Curry with the ball. Puts it up. He wanted a max. The Warriors didn't give it to him. But it's led to a lot of frustration. He's not there. Jordan Poole got a contract extension. Andrew Wiggins got taken care of. Draymond got taken care of. Should we believe the media? Are the Golden State Warriors finally finished? Maybe. As it can be said that right now they are in serious danger as their roster is dangerously old. Chris Paul is 38, Steph is 35, Draymond and Clay in 34, and going even further, in terms of minutes per game, the Warriors top 7 players are all 27 or older with an average age of 32. This current roster just missed the play-in tournament quarterfinals and is 8 and 10 with a group of young players that has continued to underperform. So all eyes are certainly Certainly on the Golden State Warriors, as there is always one season where everyone looks back and says that is the year things went wrong. The question we have to ask is why is this happening? And the answer is not Clay Thompson and his current contract extension talks. No. Instead, that answer is Andrew Wiggins. So what's up guys, Mike here, and before we get into the Warriors failures, I do wanna say, we've launched an entire brand new series on Coors Light, and it is What If Based. We're doing What If Steph Curry was in LeBron James draft class, and we're doing a whole lot more. We are doing an entire series dedicated on who is the ultimate GOAT using our classic What If style as the backdrop. It would really mean the world to me if you went and checked out that new video, What If Steph Curry was in LeBron James draft class. Trust me, it is wild, and I'm going to be grinding on that new channel, Coors Light, so please subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. And now let's talk about the Warriors, where Klay Thompson has been getting destroyed in the media for his shooting percentage and play this season, as Steph Curry has yet again been putting up MVP numbers for an underwhelming roster. We did see this with Steph in 2021, and after missing the playoffs, there were some rumblings that Steph would ask out. Back then, Steph made it clear he did not want to be putting up MVP numbers for a team that had no chance at all to win a title and right now the Warriors are looking that way with Klay Thompson being the main culprit that the media has painted as the villain. However, if we look at the Warriors points per game leaderboard and take a look down a spot under Klay, we will find an in his prime Andrew Wiggins performing horribly for absolutely no reason at all. To say that Golden State has bet it all on Andrew Wiggins might be a stretch but not not by much. They currently owe him a $30 million player option in 2027. He's eating up a lot of their cap. And right now in 2023, Andrew Wiggins is averaging 12.8 points per game on 43% shooting. This while also giving Golden State nothing on the offensive end as he's averaging 1.2 assists per game, a number you get by simply passing the ball to Steph Curry as he walks up the court. Taking a look at Andrew Wiggins' current numbers compared to his number as a rookie, we can see that right now Andrew Wiggins is not only performing worse on just the regular stat sheet, but in terms of advanced stats, Andrew Wiggins currently sits with a minus 0.1 win share, as well as a minus box score plus minus, a minus VORP. In short, he has been awful. Again, in 2022, Andrew Wiggins was an all-star starter. Steph Curry was annoyed back in 2021. The title in 2022 certainly made things all right. However, it needs to be remembered that when the best of the best are still competing at the highest level, they will move teams at the end of their careers. Even Michael Jordan himself finished his career on the Washington Wizards after a lot of dysfunction with his front office. In May 30th of 2023, Warriors president and general manager, Bob Myers decided to step down. Bob Myers is only 48 years old, but he said at that point, it's just time. Was he reading the writing on the wall after a string of recent horrible draft failures? Yes, Andrew Wiggins is to blame as we will continue to get into, but it needs to be remembered that Golden State made one of the worst draft decisions in NBA history by drafting a complete mega bust in James Wiseman directly before All-Star 
star LaMelo Ball. Wiseman had played in three games in college, and he currently plays on the Detroit Pistons. Golden State would also proceed to draft Jonathan Kamingo one spot before Franz Wagner, and Moses Moody two spots before Alfred Singoon. Both Wagner and Singoon have proven to be young stars in this league right now, while Kaminga and Moody have been up and down at best. These types of draft misses are what turn a promising Dynasty 2.0 into the under 500 team we have today, but the man who truly should be held the most accountable is, of course, Andrew Wiggins. When you are being paid $30 million a year, yes, you are expected to produce on the court, which Wiggins is not doing, but you are also expected to add value to your team off the court. With Andrew Wiggins, we have only gotten, throughout the course of his entire career, questions. Questions about his work ethic. Questions about whether he even loves basketball. Say whatever you want about Andrew Wiggins, but his career has been ridiculously up and down. In high school, he was labeled Maple Jordan, as in Canada's version of Michael Jordan. As to be fair, he did have one of the greatest mixtapes of all time. But then after being drafted number one by the Minnesota Timberwolves, he was so bad as a number one pick that he was labeled a bust at the age of 25. When the Warriors traded for him, many thought Golden State was making making a horrible mistake as Golden State was hoping to salvage his career. However, it was at this point that Andrew Wiggins shocked us. We had a massive rise, first becoming an NBA All-Star starter, then receiving hate for becoming that starter, but incredibly shutting everyone up with his 2022 playoff performance. As in the 2022 Western Conference Finals, Andrew Wiggins looked like a surefire All-Star for years to come. On the defensive end, he was everywhere, hounding multiple positions on the defensive end, while on offense, Wiggins not only dunked on Luka's face, but he also averaged the second most points per game on the Warriors, tied with Clay, and grabbed a huge 7.2 rebounds per game for a Golden State team that was severely undermanned at center. This was the Andrew Wiggins we were waiting for. He was playing with a toughness we had never seen before, and he would only step things up further in the NBA Finals against Jason Tatum, who was a first-team All-NBA selection that season. The two 2022 NBA Finals were supposed to be a matchup of stars. It was supposed to be Steph Curry versus Jason Tatum only. Andrew Wiggins was essentially able to match Tatum's production and that allowed the Warriors to take the NBA championship from a Boston Celtics team that many thought had more talent. In the NBA Finals, Andrew Wiggins would have been everyone's second pick for NBA Finals MVP. He averaged the second most points per game on the Warriors along with 8.8 .8 rebounds per game and overall for the playoffs. He was a monster. He had an on-off court plus minus of plus 13.2 only. From there, instead of becoming that multiple time all-star, Wiggins production has dropped off a cliff. So what in the world has happened? Warriors fans right now chalk up Wiggins struggles to either him just being in his own head, or it is possible that the cracked rib he suffered against LeBron in game five of the Western Conference semifinals is still bothering him. At the end of the day though, you would like to see your player take a statistical leap in production. It is an unfortunate situation that the Warriors are currently hoping that Wiggins just regains the form he once showed when he was 26. When it comes down to it, you always do have to question the offseason work ethic. I'm sorry, but you do, because at his best in 2022, Wiggins was around a 40% three-point shooter, and he also finished around 74% at the rim. This year, in the 2024 season, Wiggins is shooting just 27% from three and 60% at the rim. The cherry on top is that he shot under 60% from the free throw line as well. So you can say he's in his own head, or you can say that maybe he was not shooting a basketball enough in the offseason. We will soon see what is the case. I am curious what you guys think. Comment down below. I'm also very curious what you think about Coors Light. Please go check out what if Steph Curry played in the 2000s? What if he was in LeBron James draft class? The video is well worth your time. It is one of my favorite videos we have made in a long time. As for this channel, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.